What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. You guys have seen the title, you saw the thumbnail, you saw all that. Today, we're going to be discussing my concept for what this year's worldwide download celebration could be, which, you know, if you're a Dokkan player, you already know what that is. That's going to be, you know, that celebration that happens right after Global Anniversary, where it's uh, JP and Global get new units at the same time. Last year, it was the cooler celebration. So if you remember when LR Cooler came out in Tech Carnival Goku, that was worldwide. So this year's worldwide, as you can see on this main screen here, my concept for it is going to be, uh, well, I'm, I'm going to assume y'all can guess again, based on just the sagas, Boo Saga and Future Trunk Saga. I'm sure y'all can guess what the concept's going to be. Well, we're going to go ahead and just go through it. So first up is going to be the Dokkan Fest for part one, which I think should be Merge Zamasu. Now, I do want to specify something here with this Merge Zamasu. Is, um, I specifically chose these two scenes for the art because you notice how this is purple Zamasu, but without the big purple arm. So specifically, this is going to be just regular uh, Merge Zamasu, which we'll, we'll talk about the distinction a little bit more in a bit because there's another section of Zamasu we need to get to and then I'll talk about it. So yeah, this is going to be the Dokkan Fest, but keep in mind that I'm specifically talking about Merge Zamasu before he gets the big purple arm, but while he's still half purple. Just keep that in mind. So the next, the Carnival LR, is going to be none other than a blue Goku and Vegeta, which we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next section. And as we go through this video, you'll kind of understand the pieces of why I'm picking who I'm picking for these, um, for these LRs. So first, we'll go ahead and just show off what I think could be this Zamasu's intro. The tough thing about this Zamasu, let's go ahead and play it. The tough thing about this Zamasu, though, is that we did just get the other LR Zamasu. So it's kind of hard to pick scenes for the intro. But the only one I could think of was, because again, I said this is pre-Purple Arms Zamasu. So there was this scene where he's like yelling at uh, like Goku's name out. And I just think it's got some cool animation here. Like this scene with the aura is really sick. This scene where he's screaming is cool. Uh, for this part, though, with his arm being all wavy... I would instead change that to be his key blade coming out, like his purple or pink key sword coming out, because uh, you'll see when we get to the super attacks for him that pretty much his entire moveset is going to be utilizing that key sword. So I think instead of his arm going out and being all wavy like this, it could be the key sword, which I guess I could have edited in. And then this scene of him like breathing when it's up close is cool, and it's something that's not used. So just something that if they give him an intro, this is what they could do because keep in mind i did give every unit that i put in this concept an intro animation but i don't think they'll all will get intros but if they were to this is what the ones i put are what i think they should be the so next we get to the blue goku and vegeta their intro animation is gonna be pretty simple uh it's gonna be just directly pulled from the moment where their art is from uh so you know it'll show here we'll, we'll watch it again after it plays but yeah then they'll get into their poses but so in this scene specifically they jump in goku and vegeta right here with this smoke clearing is because goku black and zamasu tried to kill gowasu again so i think the intro could just start literally right there with the smoke clearing and then it's goku and vegeta standing there and they have their you know quote because you know they usually have a quote and then they'll just get stanced up just a quick intro but i think it works for what these guys are going or, you know like what what they're supposed to be as a unit i think that that works the next we'll get into the super attacks for zamasu which again it's kind of hard it was kind of hard to come up with some because again like i said the int merge zamasu just came out and he did use a good amount of animations but i figured there was still some stuff they could do like this zamasu so the first one i got so again the again uh as i've said multiple times this is purple zamasu before he gets the purple arm which he actually did do a few attacks so first here we'll kind of go through the slow so I think this would be a cool animation to use where he does this grab on Goku and like breaks his leg with his aura because it's completely unused in Dokkan and again it's this specific Zamasu. But to make it an actual super attack he won't just do the grab so he'll do that then do this toss into the Lightning of Absolution I think it's called which technically is the same name as the Int Zamasu's active skill I believe but this animation is technically used in Dokkan 
but it's not um uh, like we don't have a newer version of this the last unit that used this animation was the agl merzamasu the transforming one but i think we could just get like an updated version of this animation because it's not uh used outside of that guy so i think using that would be cool and then for his 18 key here again like i mentioned before he'll use the key sword a lot and i think again they should pull this animation from heroes because he does pull out the key sword here and does like this pose and it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool animation i think they could use and it's not like dokkan's never pulled from heroes before like if y'all know the tech lr gogeta his 12 key super attack is basically completely from dragon ball heroes so they're definitely not against doing this so i think he should pull out the key sword now obviously this part was just to kind of show him doing like a combo with the key sword it wouldn't be this exact animation because you know it doesn't look that great but the idea here is that he's swinging his key sword around for like a combo and then he you know slaps the opponent down and then goes in for like a big attack and then he goes in for a big uh swing with his key sword and then i copied this scene because i think it'd be cool if if they do this sort of like same animation like the same shot but have it reversed where it's Zamasu's sword going to the enemy. Just kind of like a little reference to the Vegito. Because this is... The Vegito does use this animation in-game with LR Vegito Blue. The STR one. But I think it'd be cool if they reverse it and have it be Zamasu's sword stabbing to the enemy. I think that would make for a really sick super attack. So again, he just pulls out the key sword. This does like this little combo. Then smacks you down with it. And then he stabs you with this scene here. I think that would be a pretty sick animation for an 18 key there. And again, these could be like maybe be switched. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter what order they're in, but I just thought this was cooler for an 18 key. All right, so next we're going to get into the blue Goku and Vegeta, what their 12 and 18 key can be. Now for the 12 key, basically all I had it be was Goku and Vegeta just doing this combo attack because this is specifically, I guess I should have mentioned, this is the Goku and Vegeta that fight against Goku Black and Zamasu when they come back to the future again. Uh, so they fight against Goku Black and Zamasu, and it's basically just, uh, I just strung together some different shots to make it like a combo thing that they, that they do together with this blue explosion aura, because I think Dokkan would do something like that. One thing that they could do here, though, that I didn't include is this scene here is when Vegeta is like pummeling Goku Black into the ground. We don't have a good version of that in the game either, so they could very well use that scene. They could easily do that, because that's like a really iconic scene, and I think it would fit for the unit. And then for their 18 key, uh, they're going to have, like, the, as you can tell, this is from the Tournament of Power. And that's because I think they should just do a Gallic Kamehameha, which actually, even though the scene here is from the Tournament of Power, you'll see in a second once they shoot it off. I'll, you know, I'll talk about it here. Right there. So hold on. Let's, let's go back. This scene right here is, if you notice, from the Goku Black arc and Goku and Vegeta are, it is just a blue key blast to be fair, but they could easily turn it into a Gallic Kamehameha, because this is a thing they actually do in the Goku Black arc. So I think this is actually a very plausible 18 key. And the reason I did this was um, when I first, so some of these animations you might sort of recognize, especially this one if you've seen my other videos, because this is actually the exact same 18 key I had for an LR Vegito Blue in my, um, or an LR Blue Goku and Vegeta in my Blue Fusions concept video. It's the same 18 key because Basically, I wanted these this unit to kind of reflect the Blue Goku and Vegeta. Uh, to be fair, I made that other video before the seventh anniversary, so the Blue Goku and Vegeta weren't out yet. But still, I think them having a Gallic Kamehameha kind of reflecting what the seventh year LR had would be cool because this is like a. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious it's going to end up being a Vegito unit, right? Um, but yeah, I think just them having a Gallic Kamehameha and pulling from this scene in the Tournament of Power would be cool because I mean. I don't know if they'll have a different Goku and Vegeta that come out that they want to use this for, maybe. But I think it's just kind of cool that there is actually a Gallic Kamehameha within the series. It's not just from the movie. And they could kind of copy that for this LR. And then, yeah, it just blows up there. They could also use for this scene another... Just like how I talked about the Vegeta pummeling scene. There is a scene in the Goku Black arc where Goku... I might edit it in here if I remember to. But uh, Goku launches a huge, like, really clean animated Kamehameha at Goku Black's, or not Goku Black's, Fusion Zamasu's like Holy Wrath, like his fireball thing, his giant wrath ball. He shoots this really cool looking Kamehameha, so they could also pull from that uh, for his animation. So yeah, that, that that's just again, concept that came up with just them doing this combo attack and then the Gallic Kamehameha for the 18 key. And then next we're going to get into the active skill. Now this active skill right here is why I specifically had it be zamasu without the purple arm for the base form because his active skill is going to be him technically here you can see he does have the purple arm already 
But in this scene, they could easily turn this into him actually growing the purple arm for the first time because he's just getting huge right here. And basically, I think this should work kind of like an orange piccolo transformation, you know, so he gets even bigger and then has the purple arm now. Um, and it should just work like orange piccolo's active where it's like a giant form, which, you know, if you if you play Dokkan, you know how the rage and giant form mechanics work. I think Zamasu is definitely a good unit that could get this now. Before we move on to the next thing, I do want to talk about the name of this unit, because you might be thinking, uh, obviously I type Merge Zamasu here, but that's just because what I, that's what I call him, but technically in Dokkan, he is named Fusion Zamasu, so if they drop the Cellar, you would think, well, that's going to clash with um, with the Int LR that just came out, but let me switch over to my other monitor here. If you notice, in Xenoverse, you know, shout out to Xenoverse for having this here. The Zamasu, they do have the purple arm Zamasu in the game, and his name is Half Corrupted Zamasu. And if we look at these tabs, there's a purple arm Zamasu here, and guess what? His name's just Fusion Zamasu. And then the AGL one also has purple arm. Guess what? His name is just Fusion Zamasu. So they could easily just call this LR Half Corrupted Zamasu, because he will still have, you know, the purple and be half corrupted. And then his giant form, they could either just call it like half corrupted enraged or something like that. Um, you know, so I think that that could be the name that they use, and then he works perfectly with the other Zamasu, because this name is completely unused in Dokkan. Which, I mean, this is, you're probably thinking, like, well, if the purple I one from before is called Fusion Zamasu, why wouldn't the new one be? And, well, I have a prime example of that. This AGL Goku is Kaioken Blue Goku, but he's just called Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku. But then later on, when they dropped another Kaioken Blue Goku, they actually called him Kaioken. So I think it's very plausible that the next Zamasu we get, if he is purple like this, will be called Half Corrupted. I think that's 100% possible that that's what happens. So that's what I'm thinking they do with the, the Zamasu here, uh, with his rage. Like, even before he does the active, like, his base form, the LR that you get, will be Half Corrupted Zamasu even before he gets the purple arm. And then his active skill will just be him getting the purple arm, which I think works because of this scene right here. Because you could easily just turn this into the purple arm growing for the first time. Because it is just growing more in this scene. But the way it's animated, it could easily just be turned into it's growing for the very first time. So I think this is a very possible thing they could do for this Zamasu, giving him this giant form. And then next, we're going to get into the Vegito Blue. So now you notice, this is not an active skill. I'm having Vegito Blue be a standby skill. And I'll explain... Once, you know, we'll get there, but I'm going to explain fully what exactly I mean by him being a standby skill. And the reason I do standby skill is just because that's like the newest thing in Dokkan. Like, you know, they introduced it for the year eight LRs. So I don't like I it'd be kind of surprising if at least one of the worldwide units this year doesn't have a standby skill. And I'll explain my concept for Vegito Blue and why I'm doing it this way. But their standby skill is going to be pretty simple. It'll literally just be the scene here because this is also unused in Dokkan, surprisingly. This whole scene where they fuse into Vegito Blue for the first time, completely unused in Dokkan. But you might be wondering about when he goes blue, because this is specifically going to be a Vegito Blue as a standby. And that's simple. Just pull it straight out of Fighters. Just pull this animation from Fighters, because their regular transformation, and then there's a little more here. I'll explain this part in a second, but we're going to go back to here. So this scene right here is technically already used. I shouldn't have put this part of it into the video, because the tech Vegito Blue does use this and his anime transformation is already used by tech vegeto blue and i don't see them reanimating it because it already looks good and that tech vegeto blue is still going to be a relevant unit especially when this guy if this guy came out for worldwide he would be perfect for the tech vegeto blue and that just gives them a bet another team so i don't see them copying this again i think pulling from fighters is the best move they could do here especially because the fighters transformation does look really good like you know he does the spin into the yosha pose and then he goes blue um, now, the other thing they could do, technically, I don't think they need to do this, but for my concept that I have for this Vegito Blue standby, it works. They could pull, again, from Heroes and have Vegito put up his barrier, which, I mean, this looks so cool, like, from the Heroes anime, like, him having the white aura, like, the white barrier, and then it goes into blue because he turns blue. Like, he has a blue aura because he went blue is sick, but... Uh, I'll explain why the barrier in a little bit. I think it could be cool, but honestly, if he is just a Vegito Blue, that also works. But, alright, next we'll get into the art that they could do for the Rage Zamasu. So again, there is this scene, they could just give him like the bigger purple arm, or just use one of these two arts, which I think these are really cool shots. So I think any of these with the big purple arm could be his like Rage skill art. Because, you know, obviously when he transforms, it's kind of like Orange Piccolo. 
He goes from Power Awakening into Orange, and the art is different. So this Amasu would obviously get new art. And then he'll have a 12 and 18 key here. So his 12 key is going to be, he does like this uppercut into this backhand. And then he does like this laser blast. Because he has this move in Xenoverse, which is why I think it's possible they use it. But uh, this scene with his eye is kind of used. Again, it's the AGL Zamasu. And that super attack doesn't look bad. But I think having it be even cleaner art and then they really like... Because obviously Vegito's hand wouldn't be there. But what they could do is just have his face like just zoom in on this part of his face have the eye open and then he does like this eye blast because he does do that in xenoverse so i think it's plausible that again he can just use that in dokkan for his 12 key and then his 18 key i want to see if anyone's gonna catch what i went for here so we'll play it again but so he does like so it just starts off with him like flying like grab i guess i didn't put a little animation before but i guess he could like grab you or like punch you and fly you into the or i say you but i mean like the enemy Fly you into the city. Whoops, I didn't mean to play that one again. Um, and then he'll do like this little combo attack. Because he does actually fight with Vegito here for a second. Then he does a kick into a punch into the Holy Raft move again. Which, this animation is completely... Like this part right here. This could be like where the damage shows up and stuff. It's like, I could envision it already. This would be perfect. But, I wonder if anyone caught the reference I was going for there. Which if not, I'll just show you right now. We'll switch over to the other monitor. It's actually just an updated version of the super attack from this guy, which I'll show you all right now. We'll play it. Uh, thanks to the shout out to the Dokkan Wiki here, by the way. But yeah, so he dashes in and you'll see he does a a punch into a, a kick and then he shoots out the Holy Wrath ball here too. Oh, he does a second punch. Actually, I didn't even, real, I didn't even catch that. Uh, but he shoots out the Holy Wrath. It's basically just this Zamasu super attack, but an updated version because obviously this is a really old super attack so i think just getting a better animated version of it or something similar at least would be cool at the very least i think the holy wrath like sunball at the end should be used but all right we'll go back and next we're gonna get into vegeto blue so i think when they go into vegeto with the standby it should be any of these arts because i mean this art is just raw he could have him doing this pose or just doing like the smirk like i think any of these arts would be cool uh, and something we don't have yet. I think this one in the top right is kind of similar to the LR Vegito Blue, the tech one. Now I'm thinking about it. It's sort of similar, but I think it works still. I think this art right here, though, goes so hard. Now, what you're going to notice here is I'm showing off the Key Blast Notification and Counter, which we're going to play these animations. Because I think this Vegito Blue should definitely get a Key Notification and a Counter. Because the only Vegito Blue in the game right now with a Counter is the physical Vegito Blue. And... Well, you know, that's it's such an old unit. And then we've had two more Vegito Blues since then. Both of them are tech, actually, funnily enough. Neither of them have a counter. So I think this Vegito should get a nullification, which, again, this scene, it's kind of funny because this is directly connected to the Zamasu super attack when he's raged, which I think is just cool. But this scene when Vegito catches the Sun Ball and then, like, has his palm out like that, and then he dispels it, and then he's got, like, his fist out and he drops it down like that. And now, if they wanted to, they could make the nullification a counter also. So, the counter right here that I'm going to show is going to be for normal attacks. And then this one is going to be for Key Blast Supers. If they want to also make this a counter, he could just do that and then go into this punch. And then just, you know, just a quick little punch animation after he nullifies the super. Just if they want to make it a counter. If not, it can just stop right at, like, this part where he has his fist down and puts it down. That could be the whole nullification. And then for his counter, just his regular super attack counter... Uh, ooh, I have the sound on. Uh, I basically, mostly I wanted them to use this part here where he's grabbing Zamasu by the face and slams him down because that's not used in the game at all. But again, to make it like do some damage too, unless they just, unless they want to just stop it there, just having him do the grab animation, but they could also have him like slam you down. Then he does like this key push on you and then he hits you with the spirit sword. Because Vegito, there isn't a Vegito blue that has a, well, specifically that spirit Excalibur. There is one unit in the game that does do Spirit Excalibur, actually. It's the old STR. Like, well, I say old, but it's the worldwide STR Super Vegito. It's his 12 key, but, like, you never see his 12 key. So, I think they could just give us a different animated Spirit Excalibur for Vegito Blue, and it works out just fine. And that could be his counter. So, yeah, but mostly I want them to use this scene with the grab, because this is just unused in Dokkan. It's such a cool moment. Uh, but one thing you'll notice here, though, is now we're getting into Vegito Blue's finish skill because he is a he is a uh, standby. But one thing you're probably noticing: this Vegito Blue doesn't have any super attacks. 
And that's what I'm going for with the standby here. Is I think he should just be a really highly defensive unit that has the key nullification and the counter. Just somewhat highly defensive. He gets like, I mean, maybe a guaranteed nullification against Key Blast Supers. And then he can counter all um, normal attacks. They could even make him maybe dodge other supers or something. I don't know. But I think this Vegito Blue should get no super attacks and just be a defensive unit. And the reason I'm doing that, again, is because technically they could just make him a normal fusion without the standby. And it'll just be normal, you know, super attacks and stuff. But I kind of wanted to be a little more unique and use the standby as the Vegito. Because I think a limited time fusion does kind of work. But the reason I gave him those supers is because he's also supposed to, again, I'm trying to replicate the 7th anniversary LR Blue Goku and Vegeta, where their active skill was just Gogeta. So I'm kind of trying to do something similar to that, but with Vegito here. So he won't do any attacks, but he'll be highly defensive, have his nullification and his counter. But obviously with him being a, uh, you know, having a standby, he's going to have finish skills too. So I think depending on how many charges you get. So if you don't fill up the charge meter, I think his finish skill it'd be hold on I have sound on again some of these clips have sound and it's because i just forgot to mute them but um so it'll start off with him just doing like you know his classic vegeto legs and then it'll kick you away and go into this big bang attack because this is another super attack that's completely unused in dokkan which technically it is kind of used but it's like again one of the old old animations like the tech zamasu it's honestly even older than tech zamasu i think it's like physical super vegeto uses it so a really old animation they could definitely make a newer one but I think uh, his finish skill should be this Big Bang attack here like that. And yeah, but again, obviously there is still a high chance they just make the Vegito Blue a normal fusing unit. Like you do the active skill, you fuse into Vegito, you stay as Vegito the whole time. I'm sure people would probably like that more, honestly. But I think it'd be cool if they give us this finish skill Vegito Blue. Uh, just like how they didn't give us a Go uh, Gogeta Blue last or yeah, last year because it's 8th anniversary. So last year they didn't give us the Gogeta Blue. But I think what that means is... Uh, we could get a different celebration with a standalone Vegito Blue and Gogeta Blue. Which technically could still work if this Vegito Blue was a fusing unit. We still could technically get, you know, a standalone Vegito Blue and they would still link up and everything. But again, I just wanted to do something more unique and kind of copy what they did with the Tech Gogeta. Or, I say Gogeta, but the Tech Gods. And just have it be like a finished skill, like highly defensive Vegito with no super attack. And he still has like the counter and the nullification uh animation so i think that that's still pretty cool but i'm sure that most people are gonna just want him to be a vegeto you just get to play around with you know which i get i get but i think it'd be cool if they do this but anyway his finish skill because every vegeto has it final kamehameha but specifically the one from heroes he could do like this kind of combo thing they just do like this combo attack into this and then he goes into this final kamehameha because this is an animation not used in heroes this are not used in dokkan sorry um, technically this, they could use this as like a Kaioken Blue Vegito if they ever drop one, but I think, again, they pull from heroes a lot, so I think it's definitely possible that we just get this, or they could even pull, um, the one from Fighters, I guess, which I guess we did kind of get with the Tech Vegito Blue, the LR. He does use some of the scenes from Fighters, so I guess there is that, but they could, I guess there are some scenes they didn't use, but I think the one from Heroes is the most unused Final Kamehameha. But I think just using that for the finish skill would be cool. So then after this, you would just go back down into the blue Goku and Vegeta. So, and then with the, with him having the finish skill, because if the last year Tech Gods, their active skill was Fusion and they got Gogeta, yeah, technically you don't play as Gogeta, it's just the active skill, but he is still on like the Fusion category and everything. So this Vegito with the standby would still be on like Patara and all the categories. So I think it, I think it works. And this is something I could see them doing. But at the same time, it's very possible they just give us a fusing blue Vegito. Uh, but at that point, I don't know what the standby would be. And I think that having a standby be a fusion would be cool. And like, it makes sense because, you know, fusions being time limited is an actual thing in the series. So, yeah. But anyway, next we're going to get into who I think the side unit is going to be. Because remember, it's only one side unit because we're the way they're doing worldwide now at least according to last year is they're doing a dokkan fest and a carnival in part one and then part two is a dokkan fest and a carnival so there's only one side banner unit per part so two still two side banner units they're just split up so obviously with zamasu fusion zamasu being the dokkan fest i think the side unit should be a gawasu but just a standalone gawasu not like a gawasu and zamasu whoops i hit my mic not like gawasu and zamasu like we've gotten before i think this one should just be purely a standalone 
the Wasu because I, I mean I just think it works because I don't know who else so I, technically originally I would have put a Goku Black as a side unit but we got a Goku Black with I was it with Merge the Monster or was it with Vegeta and Trunks I think it was with Vegeta and Trunks we got an AGL based Goku Black so I don't see them doing another side unit Goku Black I guess it could be a Zamasu but uh, we'll get into it later, but I think it's going to clash with something else I have on here. So I think Gowasu is like the most closely related character to Zamasu. That would make sense. Obviously, if the if the Dokkan Fest, because I will keep in, I do want y'all to keep in mind, the Dokkan Fest could easily be uh, Vegito Blue instead of Zamasu here. But I kind of think that they should give the villains, at least for part one or part two, at least for one of the parts, give the villain the Dokkan Fest because we need more villain units. Um, so I think... You know, for my concept here, though, we're having Zamasu's Dokkan Fest. I think Gowasu could be the side unit. But I think if Vegito ends up being the Dokkan Fest, we could get a lot more side units. But there's these two card arts from Heroes that I thought were cool. So, like, one could be SSR, and then one's the TUR. And then here's the Super Attack, which, again, just pulled straight out of Heroes because this is also unused in Dokkan. And the beauty of this part is this Gowasu is just Gowasu. So the Hero Celebration uh, that we get every year in Dokkan isn't going to have Gowasu because... This isn't a hero's original character. It's just from the series. So I think this could be his super attack animation. Because again, uh, we don't have much an uh, material to use from the anime. But, you know, this gives him some sort of super attack. So he could do that. And then now we get into the part two. So I think y'all already know where this is going. Again, if you saw the title and thumbnail, you know where this is going. Part two, this worldwide celebration. My concept for it is double Vegito. Yeah, that's right. I think double Vegito works so well for Worldwide. Just because, first of all, Future Saga, like that team needs more units. Especially because, you know, we got like Tech Vegito Blue out. And there's like uh, so many like units that could get easy A's and stuff, which we are going to talk about later also. But I think both Majin Buu Saga and Future Saga are like kind of falling off and to the point where they need new units. So I think both of these are, if they don't come for this Worldwide, because I've been seeing people talk about how Worldwide might be, um, might be Tournament of Power, which I guess is still possible. For me personally, I'd want Tournament of Power to be ninth anniversary, but that's just me. Uh, but if Worldwide ends up being Tournament of Power, that's cool too. But I think this works better. A, because Tournament of Power, who would the villain characters be? You know, I think Worldwide should give us a major villain unit, especially this year, because villains definitely need more buffs, which we kind of got with like Turles this year, right? But I think giving us another major villain LR would be perfect, which is why Fusion Zamasu, Dokkan Fest LR, would be just perfect it's perfect and the tournament of power it's like how do you i guess they could find a way to make four lrs out of it but that feels like a lot where if they just do two like if they just theme it around double vegeto you get two different arcs with tons of material to work for i think it's perfect for worldwide it could be tournament of power but if it is tournament of power for worldwide i think boo saga and future are definitely coming up for buffs because those are the three big categories that need buffs is universe survival saga future and Boo Saga. Those all need, like, desperately need buffs right now. I think Cell Saga does too, but we got a lot of Cell Saga stuff. But I think these three need it more than even Cell Saga. So, again, since this is the part two, they kind of switched the types around here. Um, so the Dokkan Fest is going to be the Super Vegito, because during Worldwide last year, um, the Dokkan Fest for part two ended up being Goku and Vegeta from the Meta Cooler movie. And then Meta Cooler was the Carnival LR. So, Obviously, if the Super Vegito is a Dokkan Fest, the Carnival is going to be a Buhan. And I think the Buhan actually could be really cool because we do have this art here, which I don't... I'm pretty sure this whole scene here, that uh, which we'll talk about later because I do use this scene because I think it's just so cool. I think it's anime only, though. I think this would be super sick LR art, though. And obviously, they do have the art from Legends the, here that I have because this isn't used in Dokkan. I think this could be maybe like cool SSR art. And again, for all the arts I showed back to vegito this could easily be like you know ssr then tur then lr you know or even like ssr tur lr like any order of these they could that's why i try to do three arts because it could be like ssr tur lr kind of thing uh but let's go into super vegeta so i think again this should be his intro just pull this scene straight out of kakarot because this vegeto that i have is going to use a lot of scenes from kakarot just because there's so much unused but it looks really cool and then uh, they just have him going straight into Super Vegito, which ironically is just like the transformation of the STR Super Vegito. When he fuses, he goes straight into Super Vegito. But I think just pulling the scene from Kakarot makes it different enough from that guy, especially with this whole uh, tornado scene here, which is a reference to the Gogeta fusion from the Broly movie. 
I think that this makes it cool and different enough for a new LR from the STR Vegito transformation, because it's just the one for the anime for STR Vegito, but I think pulling the whole scene from Kakarot works perfectly. And then for Buhan, this one I was kind of debating about, but I decided to include it anyways. We could just get a better animated version of when he absorbs Gohan. Because again, just like I was mentioning before, the last Buhan we got with the STR Super Vegito does use this animation, like uh, him absorbing Gohan right here. This is already used, but I think like including the extra stuff here, like this part with the actual, I guess, I, I just got to call it bubble gum coming up and then absorbing Gohan, and Gohan's arm falling. Then they could also pull from like Budokai here. Like where he just kind of swipes his hand and then it flies back to him. I think that also this scene where he grows the shirt isn't used at all. So I think that they, I think there's some material here that they could give him a different intro than just the transformation from before. Uh, Cause in Kakarot, he doesn't really have much here from what I remember, unless I just didn't remember right. But I think if they pull, like they could strings together some stuff and put in some extra scenes and animate it better to make it kind of cool. Cause even though the Buhan transformation is used on the physical Boo tanks, it's kind of bad. You know, it could definitely be better. So, yeah. Um, next, we're just going to go ahead and get into the super attack. So, I think Vegito's 12 key. Uh, it's going to be this scene. Like, uh, again, for they could use all of this or maybe just part of it. But him doing, like, this punch. And then he goes into the grab. You know, his classic Vegito grab and then toss. And then he pulls out the spirit sword. And it's basically just going to be him doing this whole Spirit Sword combo from Kakarot like that. And then going into this Jumping Slash from Legends. I think his 12 key being like a Spirit Sword attack would be really cool. Just doing like a whole combo with the Spirit Sword. Because even the last Vegito, he just had Spirit Excalibur. Which I guess is still pretty cool, right? Like that we got that. But I think him doing this whole combo with the Spirit Sword is definitely on brand for Vegito. And then for his 18 key, this is an animation I think everyone's been waiting for them to use ever since Kakarot dropped. Now, obviously, again, they don't have to do all this stuff at the beginning, but I kind of had him just doing, like, this combo on Boo, right? And then he goes and, like, grabs the enemy and then drops him. And then we go into this knee. And if you remember Kakarot, this is the big Vang attack scene. I think this would be so hard as an 18 key super. I think this is, like, perfect to use as the 18 key for Vegito. Just this big bang attack into like that scene that's where the damage pops up and everything and then this could be the ko screen right here where he's just smiling i think the big bang attack part at least works so well for a super attack i think this is like prime 18 key for vegeto here and then next we're gonna get to buhan who i think he has some pretty cool attacks here so i think it's 12 key uh again because a lot of the animations for buhan were already used from the last lr buhan we got but we don't have a good version of the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, so I think they could do that. So he spawns in the ghosts, then like sends them out after the enemy. They fly up, do their Kamehameha here. Which again, it, it'll probably be shorter than what I have here, but bear with me. So he'll blast it, then the enemy will fly away, then the boos are going to be like controlling it. And then the other boo ghosts on the other side are going to do the Masenko. And then it's going to just blow up the enemy in the middle here. And then it'll be like this. Yeah, I think using the Super Ghost Kamikaze attack, because the last one we got was like the STR Buhan uses it, but it's again, really old animation. I think we could definitely get a better version of that move. And then Boo's 18 key. Now, I don't know if they will use this, because this is an anime only scene, but it's so raw, right? So it's this scene where Boo just starts getting real mad, like pissed because of Vegito, and that's where the art comes from. And then he just explodes into like this, these like lightning bolts are shooting out of him, and I think that could hit the enemy. I guess it could be like an AoE, but the problem is like I kind of would be scared if Boo gets an AoE because Dokkan tends to shaft AoE units, like I don't know why. They tend to, like I think they think AoE is more broken than it actually is, so they, the only exception to that is the active skill on the Piccolo Jr. He still does like so much damage, even like he's still such a good unit, but for this just being an 18 key super that you'll see regularly, I they might shaft him, so I don't know. But I just think this scene is super cool, though. This could even maybe be an active or something, but I don't know. And next, we'll talk about the side unit uh, that would go with Vegito here. And just also, you know, just to go back real quick, I didn't give Boo and Vegito active skills just because I don't know what their active skills would be. I genuinely have like couldn't think because there's so much animation already used. But to be fair, at least with Vegito, the Vegito Blue and the Super Vegito, any of their animations could go anywhere. Like, I could see... 
Vegito Blue referencing some of Z Vegito's stuff. Like they could use the Big Bang attack for Vegito Blue, which is actually what I put. Right? They could use the Spirit Sword combo for Vegito Blue and then give Super Vegito the Big Bang attack. Like the animations could mix and match, which is another reason why I made Vegito Blue a standby. Is because if they went all out with that Vegito Blue, it's like the animations are gonna be running dry. Like they're gonna have to use every last Vegito animation out there to make a card. So I just feel like if they just give him like the counter and standby with no supers. It makes it easier to build a unit that way. But uh, the side unit, though, is going to be... I think it should be a Kabito Shin. Because we do technically have an Int uh, Supreme Kai and Kabito that fuse together into Kabito Shin. But we don't have a standalone, just Kabito Shin. And I think just giving him some representation would be cool. Kind of like... Which, again, it also matches the Part 1. Because Part 1, I had Gowasu, who's a Supreme Kai. And then Part 2, the side unit's another Supreme Kai. So they would actually be sharing categories and everything, too. So I think that this would work out pretty well. Uh, the only thing is like Buhan is like, it's kind of funny because if the first three LRs that I mentioned is Amasu, Vegito, and uh, Super Vegito, all would share Patara. Well, this Buhan just kind of is just here. <laughs> you know, he's not on Patara or anything, but still, it just gives Amasu a different role and it works out fine. All right, so sorry about the cut there. It is a different day than the first part and that's because uh, for the latter half of this video, my mic was muted, so I have to just re-record it, but it's fine. It wasn't too much, and I remember all my points that I was trying to make, so it's fine. But just to recap what I was saying in the first half before I made the cut is basically, it's just kind of funny how including the side banner units, all of the characters so far would be on Patara except for Boo. But I think that works out fine if we just make Zamasu want like, I don't know, like worldwide chaos allies or something like that. You know, just so... It's not all stuck to Patara and Boo's just left out completely. Because I think Boo is on Worldwide Chaos. I know Super Boo is. I don't know about Boo, Han. He should be. But, yeah, it's just kind of funny because even the side unit here being Kabito. And so, next, we're going to go into Kabito's Super Attack, which is really simple. He'll just go, uh, again, just as all, just pull straight out of Blue Kai 3. He'll do the Shockwave move into him, creating the Kachi Kachi. Now, obviously, in the clip I made, I got here, it's a turtle shell. But that's just because in Budokai 3, the shape of it can take different forms just to do different references but it would just be like a block of kachi kachi which is what gohan tried to cut with the z sword it would just be that huge block you know the thing that broke the z sword and got elder kai to wake up it would just be a block of that and not actually like a turtle show but it's kind of funny though because this kachi kachi move is not used at all in dokan actually like you would think kavito kai or kavito shin doesn't have like that many moves but apparently a doke on the int one like they found a whole separate move for him to use so i think him just using like shockwave into the kachi kachi and works just fine for him and then yeah so next we're gonna get into the free to play units so i think a good my would be a nice free to play unit just because we haven't had a my in a while because we have like two mys on doke on right now there's the int one and the agl one one is like the peppy gals character and the other ones like a support but they're both really outdated so i think getting a new mai that's free to play would be cool and then this would be her super attack which it's kind of similar to the str trunks in my but it's different enough because on the str one she shoots out like a like a missile or like a really big bullet i guess i don't know if it's just zoomed in but we don't have this scene specifically where she's like sniping at goku black and then we could have like this be going through the enemy and then it has like this as like where the damage shows up I think this works for a good super attack because we don't have this scene at all for my in the game. So yeah. And now you'll notice, uh, we're, yeah, we'll get into this next. This is stuff we can doke on Awaken. But you'll notice I didn't have a new free-to-play unit for Boo Saga. And I'm going to pull up the other monitor right here to show you all why. So let me, let me pull it up here. So if we look through the Boo Saga units, the problem is a lot of these already have characters. Like, I mean, Supreme Kai, there's the tech one already. And then... I guess we could get maybe another one, but it'd just be like, we already got one, you know? Uh, Seiya Man has plenty of free-to-play units already. Videl's got, like, a Dokkan Fest already. I guess it could be, like, a new Ultimate Gohan, maybe? But, like, I don't know. Gotenks has, like, a million units. I don't think he needs one. Plus, we just got that for 8th Anniversary, the AGL uh, Gotenks and Piccolo. So we just got them. Which also, speaking of... the um, now that I had to re-record this part, it's actually the 8th anniversary on Global, and I pulled the Boo Boys, so I'm happy about that. And then if this if my worldwide concept comes true, I'm going for Super Vegito. <laughs> I mean, Vegito Blue would be cool, too. I kind of want both, but Super Vegito is my priority. 
Anyways, though, um, uh, I don't know who the who another free unit could be. Like, I guess Hercule, but we also just got a free Hercule during eighth anniversary. Um, like Dobora has a free unit. We just got that LR Bobbity. Like, that's the only thing. I don't know who could be a good free to play unit, uh, like a new one for Majin Buu Saga. I guess they could come up with something. Maybe there's just a character I'm not thinking about. Uh, cause like Tien, we just, we have like a side banner unit Tien already. He just needs an easy. I guess he could get a new one. Maybe like a Krillin, I guess. Like a Krillin with hair. We don't have a free to play unit of him. We have a side banner unit, but he's a movie heroes unit too. So I guess it could be him. But like, I, I don't know. Anyway, though, let's just go back to the other monitor. So these two right here, I put like they could Dokkan Awaken. These are two units that are from, um, the Dokkan events. They're drop characters from Dokkan events, which... They technically could awaken them because they did it with the Int Frieza. Because there was this Int Frieza from the... I think it's the Full Power Frieza Dokkan event. Um, you can pull him from there. And he was just an SR. Which these guys are also just like SRs, right? Um, but you can pull him off of that ban or off of that event, right? You can like get him to drop. And they eventually did awaken him and EZA him. And he's actually a pretty solid unit. So I think... Uh, and there's more that here. Let me go to the next slide because I also have this Vegito who is from a, the same kind of thing, a Dokkan event. So there are plenty more that I didn't put on here, but there's like a bunch. There's like a Buhan from a Dokkan event. I think there's more units from like the Goku Black Arc, a lot like more Majin Buu Saga units. Like there's a lot, but I think like these these ones would be like the main ones I'd want to see like awaken. Uh, like yeah, this Fusion Zamasu could be really good, like a support or something, and then Goku Black. I think the base Vegito would be good for the team. Uh, but again, it's just a more of like an if this is like more unlikely because the only time they've ever done this was with that Frieza, but it's possible. And then this Grand Supreme Kai does he's a Baba Shop unit. He does not have a Dokkan Awakening. So I think he would be a good unit for uh, to get Dokkan Awakened during the celebration just because again, and it's funny, he'd be another Patara character. So like we, we just get tons of Patara buffs during the celebration funnily enough. Um, and then there's this Rage Trunks, which he is from a story event, which we are going to talk about. Uh, but this Trunks would be prime for Dokkan Awakening because this is his maxed out form. Like you can only get him to SSR, or sorry, you only get him to UR, but you can't Dokkan Awaken him. So he only Z awakens into a UR. So I guess to kind of segue off that, let's talk next about the story events. So first, I want to talk about the Future Trunks Saga story event. I think this can get converted into one of the DB Saga story events, or not DB Saga, Dragon Ball Story. Uh, story events uh, like you know the one where you go to the separate tab and it's by like the anime like first one's like Dragon Ball then there's Dragon Ball Z then there's the movies like like that I think this Trunks one would be perfect for it because the Trunks you get off of this event which is this one here the, the one I was just showing before uh, he's actually drops as an SR so I think they could revamp this make him into an SSR give him an awakening because they've done it before but we've seen them do this in the past with other db story events where they take an old story event that had drops like srs and then make it like a way higher drop chance with like boosts and then the unit awakens and easy a's i think this event is perfect because it is also i guess let me pull it up on this monitor just to show y'all let me yeah let me pull it up on the other monitor so let me you scroll down so if we go down to dragon ball super that one besides like the zero mortals plan thing but that's separate this is the only story event for future trunk saga so it covers like the whole arc this would be perfect for the celebration to just you know it covers the entire future trunk saga so it i think this works perfectly as a story event here to get converted into a db story i mean the zero mortals plan was just a separate thing where you can get an lr zamasu so i don't even really count that this is the one where it's the entire arc in a story event so it's like perfect to get converted into one of these and actually looking through it so we'll start at the top so it's got dragon ball dragon ball z movies and gt but if you notice there's no dragon ball super so that trunks one could be our very first dragon ball super db story event which i think works out perfectly um so they could definitely do that uh there is also this one on the right but now you might notice this is like this is uh this is the old uh do like a story event that you can get that tech supreme kai i was talking about and there's also west supreme kai so you might notice um, this isn't like the Vegito part of the Boo Saga or anything like that. Uh, let me pull this up too. We'll go back to the other monitor. I'm just going to scroll it real quick. Yeah. So the reason I chose that one is because all of these down here, like I guess if we start at, 
Where's my mouse? Hold on. There it is. Ah. So, I mean, I guess you could count the Videl one as part of the Boo Saga, right? Great Saiyaman is kind of separate. So just skipping Great Saiyaman, but starting at Videl. All of these are all the Boo Saga ones, but you notice it goes from like the beginning of the Boo Saga, where like Gohan's teaching Videl to fly, then the tournament happens, then Fat Boo comes out, and then it just jumps to Kid Boo. So there's no Super Boo story event here. So I just picked this one. Like, let's pull up the event. The reason I picked this one is because... It kind of relates to the free-to-play units. You fight Grand Supreme Kai as a boss here, and you get hit like medals for hit, like Grand Supreme Kai medals here. So I think this could be the event that they have him Dokkan awaken from. Like maybe make him as a drop character on here. I mean he is a Baba Shop character, so I don't know if they're gonna make him a free just drop because they want you to use the green incredible gems, but they could, especially because he's a boss and he has medals in here. I think he'd probably Dokkan awaken from this. So that's why I, th I was just like, of all the story events, that's the only one that I could really see becoming a DB story. Because this one is the very end of the Boo Saga with Goku and Hercule. They both already easy aid. Um, this one we just got for year eight, and it's gonna, you know, you get the LR Bobbity, which so that doesn't really need to be revamped. This one's already like, you know, again, early Boo Saga. I guess they technically could do any of them, but I think the last one just makes the most sense with the whole Grand Supreme Kai thing. But I will say. I also would be completely on board with them just doing a completely new event. <laughs> you know, it, this was just more like I picked this one if they hype, like a hypothetically, we're gonna revamp a story event. I think it should be this, this one. But honestly, I would be fine if they give us a new one, which they have done before. Because I think on, uh, let me, I, I, I keep switching back and forth between monitors. I'm just trying to get my point across here. Um, where's Dragon Monster? There he is. So. Going back to the other monitor, if we look here, this event at the top here with the uh, OG Dragon Ball, I think, I'm pretty sure this was a completely new event. And then you can get like a new Kid Goku, which they haven't done anything with yet, by the way. He's been out on Global NJP for a minute. But they haven't touched him. And I think that we could maybe, like, he's probably going to become an LR at some point. Um, but this was a completely new story event. So it is possible they just do a whole new separate Boo Saga event instead of revamping an old one. It's definitely possible, but I think if they're gonna revamp an old one, it should be this one, because it's the only one that I could see making some sense, with Grand Supreme Kai getting an awakening and stuff, but yeah. Next, we're gonna go into the units I think could easy A. So, again, we've got Double Vegito here, Majin Buu Saga, and Future Saga, Future Trunks Saga. So, I think the main easy A people would be looking forward to are these two, because Again, STR Super Vegito, LR Buhan works perfectly for the celebration, or actually LR Boo Tanks, I should say. They would link up perfectly with the new LRs, the new Super Vegito and the new Buhan. These two are perfect linking partners. They don't share the same name. Um, these are both old enough units where they could get easy, especially the Vegito. He like, the Vegito's kind of okay, but like he definitely doesn't really work in the new hardest content. Like he's still, I guess semi-runnable if you don't fuse into Vegito, funnily enough. He's semi-runnable, but honestly, he could definitely use the easy game. On it. And uh, the Boo, he like stacks defense and stuff, so he can also be okay in some events, but with an easy A and then getting the, a new LR, these could be like top tier options. And they're both from 2020, and we've gotten plenty of 2020 uh, Dokkan Awakenings already, so this I feel like would work out just fine, because like, it doesn't seem too far-fetched in my opinion. Then next we have these two. These are another two big easy A's people have been waiting for. Like anytime people have been like begging for these two to get easy A, Trunks and Zamasu, because they both have really good kits. And with an easy A, again, on these teams, like the new Merge Zamasu and then the new Vegito Blue, these two could be top tier uh, options for that team. Because they both, st well, I know the Trunks at least stacks up a lot. Because some people even run him now still. I mean, not anymore, but like when Red Zone first came out and stuff, people were still... Uh, running him sometimes just because he stacks up so much i think well maybe not red zone i shouldn't say red zone more like legendary goku event and stuff he was actually really good because he stacks up a lot and you just give him like a bunch of additionals and he stacks up attack and defense so he could be a great option the zamasu i think gets damage reduction and stuff so they have good kits they just need easy a's because they're just so outdated they have like good base kits i should say like good blueprints for like a really good kit as on an easy a so i think those four are like the top easiest people would want. Then there's these two. I only really put them on here because they're Majin Buu Saga. But honestly, like, I don't see them easying as much as the other four. Like, these two are kind of like bottom tier, like what I would expect for an easy A. 
it's just like they're both boost saga and they're both old enough that i think it's possible and they could be good but i just don't see it happening here i feel like these might happen like at some other point like i don't know if we get some other like goku and vegeta celebration like i don't know maybe like saiyan day or something i could see these guys easy aing but right like during the worldwide maybe not but i put them here because they are technically boo saga they would still work like i think they could still be good options i just don't really see it as much as the other ones and then there's these two goku blacks which i don't think both of them would easy at the same time i think this would be a one or the other situation but if you ask me i want this int goku black to easy because his kit is really good like even right here reading his super attack effect without easy a he already greatly raises defense so if we just give him like guard and then built in additional or something like i don't know f guard for five turns and then he gets like a guaranteed additional or maybe even two so he's stacking up that defense and they have higher base stats on his easy a this guy could be a monster like and like a, again an asset for zamasu's team like i think he is like prime to go easy a and like would be all amazing this goku black the lr one he just kind of sucks <laughs> to be honest so he just needs an easy to be like relevant i think he could be good though like look at what they did with goku black and zamasu the tech one i think he could be like a good linking partner for them maybe and like again really good for the team because that's the other thing with uh the tech goku black and zamasu this zamasu lr would round out that team a lot better so that's why i think like this would be a really good worldwide because we have plenty of options and like we have that zamasu that dropped they haven't done anything with and then the super boo dropped and they both well, zamasu is a little bit better off i would say that much but the boo is just like stranded so i think giving lrs like new teams for both of those units would be perfect because you know they're both kind of waiting for more help but so is tournament of power like Kaioken blue goku right but i think that's gonna be year nine that's what i would want at least i, w I won't say i think that's what it's gonna be i that's what i would want it to be i want i'd want this to be worldwide but if it's not, honestly, it's fine. Uh, but we'll talk about it in a second. But yeah, I think this one would be like an either or. But I really think that Int Goku Black should easy A. Only problem is I don't know if they're going to do three different, e like four easy A's or five, I guess. Because it'd be these two, these two. Like, I think these four are like for sure they got an easy A. And then they could they could do the Int Goku Black, but that's like five easy A's. Are they really going to drop that many for worldwide? Maybe. Who knows? But I just kind of don't see it. And then they could easy A these two. Um mostly for this honestly i'm mostly looking at the tech super boo, which funnily enough i just realized that's another super boo for the for buhan's team so that, that's another unit that would be good like getting buffed so we got like look we'd have the rotation of we'd have agl super boo we'd have the old physical boo tanks and then the new buhan and then this tech super boo or i guess tech boo and evil boo easy a's that's like two rotations right there that are just perfect you know like a lot of super boo so like that really gives super boo a team go tanks like it's more so just because he came out with boo that i think it would kind of work but honestly i don't like this go tanks is still okay ish he could definitely use the easy a like i wouldn't complain about it but like he, i don't i just don't think he'd fit on the team as much with an easy a like he'd be a good option i guess but i think this tech boo is like crucial for boo's team and so is the more like the like the physical boo hans definitely crucial but if this tech boo also easy a like we're good boo's team is gonna be so filled up and then next <laughs> they could easy a tech ultimate gohan he is a 2020 unit i'm pretty sure um and so like you know it's been long enough he could easy a uh you know he's a 2020 unit it's been long enough but I just don't think they're ready to easy a him because he is still like again he's one of the most broken releases dokkan's ever done because he gets guaranteed guard and he stacks up his defense so he basically just doesn't die like he doesn't take damage and then he stacks i think he stacks attack and defense so he will do more damage as he stacks up and like he especially on release best unit in the game by far <laughs> like i think like he he was like up there with uh like in terms of when they released with like str gogeta which i think str gogeta was definitely like the most broken unit ever on release just because he like it was basically like if you didn't have str gogeta you couldn't play dokkan because he just was that broken and cleared everything in the game uh i think the the top three releases like on their release date was str gogeta then the agl kale and Khalifa was crazy when they dropped and the tech ultimate gohan like yeah that's why like he could easy a he technically is within the time frame where he could easy a but honestly i think they might save him for like a like a year or two out which is possible because they do have uh they have said that they have everything up to the 10th anniversary planned 
So it's possible this Gohan just easy A is like in two years or something. Because again, like he is still technically runnable. It's just he can get caught pretty early. But if you just stack up with him, he, he's fine. But if they, because he already has guard. So imagine on easy A what they would do with him. I think that, that that's why I wouldn't want him to easy A yet. Because I think they're going to hold back a lot on his easy A. Just because he's already pretty broken. But imagine they gave him like damage reduction too or something. He, This guy's already a monster. So like on easy A, he would be crazy. And then after that, we just have these two sub easy A's. So these are the sub easy A's for the SCR Goku Black and the Tech Vegito Blue, the TRs. Um, and so I think they could definitely easy A again, just another support unit for the Zamasu team. And then the, another, you know, for Vegito Blue's team, there's another support unit there with, uh, with Rage Trunks, which um, the only problem is like he is STR. It depends on the free to play one that I showed, the free to play STR Trunks, who is also Super Saiyan Rage. I think they have the same name. Which, funnily enough, they're both just called Super Saiyan when not Super Saiyan Rage. But anyway, it depends on what the STR free to play one awakens to. But if they plan it, they could just have the free to play one awaken to a Super Saiyan 2 trunks, right? So then it doesn't clash with this EZA. And I think that these guys are definitely plausible for this EZA to draw, or for this EZA, for this worldwide. Just because they are sub EZAs and, you know, Goku Black, Vegito Blue, those have been out long enough that these sub EZAs, I feel like, are probably coming up at some point. So yeah uh the only problem would be like obviously the zamasu would clash with the agl one uh like the name but i mean it, it's fine because the agl one transforms anyways so i mean i don't think he can link up with this one even after he transforms but still like i don't think it'd be i don't think it'd be that big of a problem you just run them on separate rotations or something but okay as i was saying that's pre that's pretty much everything that i've got here for this celebration so we'll just like go back to the beginning so that is my concept uh, in its entirety for what I think worldwide could be. Now, again, like I was mentioning before that we were going to get back to is, um, I have seen people talking about how worldwide could be, <laughs> my computer just yelled at me. Okay. Uh, how worldwide could be a tournament of power theme, which I think I did talk about that in part one. Like, what would they do? Like, at, first of all, I wouldn't want that just cause we need villain units and I don't see what villain they could do for world, like for worldwide tournament of power like i guess it could be like i don't know any raza but who's really summoning for any raza and like what categories is he gonna have you know like who's really gonna summon for any raza like who, who wants him as a main lr for worldwide like no <laughs> like come on um that's why i think that just doing this double vegeta works better just because there's a lot more content to work with um and i think tournament of power could work for maybe anniversary which i guess it would technically be the same problem right but then I guess what would be, well, actually, no, it would have to be, the, the, hold on, now, now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this would have to be for uh, Worldwide because, because uh, I forgot the reason I was, sorry, like, hold on. Wait. So the reason I was talking about Tournament of Power can't be Worldwide, but it can be Anniversary is because of the classes. It's because Worldwide is where we get our villain units. Like we all, we get villain LRs for Worldwide, not Anniversary. Well, sometimes for Anniversary, but not typically. I think Tournament of Power being all like super class units for Anniversary makes sense. There's plenty of super class characters they could turn into LRs. Because even like Jiren is super class, right? So like Jiren, Topo, all of them are super class. So then what would the extreme unit be? And because they don't typically do extreme units for part two, I think this works better as a worldwide, the double Vegito, just because we get two villains and two Vegitos, like makes perfect sense. But for Anniversary, they usually do four super class units. So. The, I think the only exception to that rule was like year one. I think we got a Janemba. Oh, I guess like part two, we got the Goku Black for year five. So it could happen, I guess, still. Um, but I think the problem with that is if this is anniversary and Tournament of Power is worldwide, where are like the villains for worldwide? You know, that's usually where we get like our Dokkan Fest LR. Because I guarantee you anniversary, they're not making a villain Dokkan Fest LR. They just, they just never do. They always do like Gogeta, Vegito, the two Dokkan Fest part one. Or like Goku and Vegeta, or like this year we got the Spear Bomb Goku and Vegeta from Z, and then the GT one. It's like they always do two super class like big name characters, which I don't blame them because that makes them, you know, that's their money makers right there. UI Goku Evolution Vegeta, Gogeta Vegeta, like yeah. And then the part two are just carnivals, but like it would kind of suck if we just get like a carnival, like we just got a carnival Boo and then a carnival Zamasu, yeah, like again, you know. I think having a Dokkan Fest Zamasu. Or like a Dokkan Fest Boo works so much better for villain teams. So that's like the main reason why I would want, why I think this makes more sense 
for worldwide and TLP could be anniversary. That's that's what I would want. There has been the argument though that people have made that every anniversary has been like uh every odd numbered anniversary has been fusions, but uh honestly at this point with Dokkan like patterns I don't think even matter anymore. <laughs> Because I even look at this year, Omatsu was like, oh, we're not doing a Goku and Vegeta again. And then look what we get, Goku and Vegeta. So it's like, at this point, anything could happen. I think doing another Tournament of Power uh, anniversary works. And then you got to think, uh, they've easy aid all the anniversary units up to year five. Like this year, um, for eighth anniversary, they're easy the part of the year five LRs, the Gogeta and Vegeta Blue. So having a TOP year nine makes the year six easy A's, which is UI Goku and Evolution Vegeta, they, it makes them fit perfectly with the whole celebration. So like that's, that's another reason why I think anniversary should just be uh, Tournament of Power, because that needs buffs. And then we buff, you know, Future and Majin Buu Saga here with Zamasu Buu, we get our villain LRs. And then anniversary, like again, anniversary TOP, we get the UI Goku, I would personally like I think it'd be cool if we got a revival UI Goku or maybe like a UI sign that uh, transforms into mastered and then a blue Vegeta that transforms into evolution because we don't have like a good version of that transformation we have just the AGL uh, evolution Vegeta but he's so old I guess we technically do actually with the physical Kaioken blue and evolution Vegeta we their active skill kind of has that scene so um, I guess it could, I don't know. Like we could still just get a transforming unit though, because it's still a different name, and they could always make it even better, you know. Um, but yeah, that's that's my whole concept here though. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know what maybe like, you know, yeah. Let's do that. Tell me what your main four LRs would be for worldwide. Not like not going off of my theme, unless you want to go off of my theme. But if you have your own ideas, like what would your theme for worldwide be? Like what two sagas or two characters it could be? It could even be like year eight where the theme was just Spirit Bomb, right? Uh, for the anniversary so just let me know what your theme would be and what your four lrs would be or if you agree with my theme or maybe you think the parts should switch or something just let me know your thoughts in the comments below and yeah that's pretty much it for me though let's see if i'm right uh if i am you'll definitely be seeing a video for me uh but yeah till next time though i'll see you all later and peace have a good day or night y'all